Am I the asshole for telling my sister to act poor in front of my in-laws? I'm marrying my fiancé, Kevin, this winter. My sister, Leia, dated Kevin's older brother, Richard, for three years. They broke up two years ago. It was a messy breakup, and while my sister moved on, got married, and had a baby, Richard is still really sour about it. After they broke up, he would badmouth my sister any chance he would get. I hate confrontation, so I wouldn't say anything about it. Since Richard blames Leia for the entire breakup, and his family believed him, they all got a kick out of her getting bashed. Richard claimed Leia was living in poverty, unemployed, married to some bum, and my nephew was ugly. Here's where the problem is. None of that is true. Leia is married, but to a handsome and successful man. My nephew is very adorable, and they live in a nice house. Since Richard is extremely rich, he's paying for our wedding. Leia is invited, but I asked her not to get too dressed up and not to invite her husband or nephew, as instructed by Richard. If they show up, then the family will know the truth. Richard said he only bashed Leia to get over her, and it wasn't anything personal. Leia said she isn't coming, but she doesn't realize this is my dream wedding. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for buying a $50,000 guitar for $4,000 and refusing to sell it back when the buyer found out the real value? Here we go. I've been playing the guitar for 22 years. I know guitar values and whatnot very well, and I'm very into the guitar market. At my wife's old company, she was hanging out with co-workers one day after work, and she mentioned that I play guitar. A co-worker, who I guess is very popular at work, said that his dad passed away, and he was selling his dad's things. His dad had a guitar, and asked my wife if I'd be interested in it. My wife texted me, and I said to have him send me the info on the guitar and the price. The next day, he texted me the pictures and price. It was a 1952 Telecaster in mint condition. He had the original receipts, which was crazy. That's how I knew the date. I asked what he wanted for it, and he said he looked up Telecasters online and thinks $4,000 is fair. I texted back, I'll take it for 4000 and I went to pick it up. The guitar was and is worth approximately $50,000 depending on the buyer, and I knew it. When I got the guitar, I told my wife the price and what it was worth. She was floored. Fast forward two weeks, her co-worker tells my wife he just found out what the guitar was actually worth from a family friend and wanted it back. She said, Well, he really likes the guitar, and he knew that it was worth $50,000, which is why he was floored you offered it to him for 4000 He really likes it, and I doubt he will sell it back, but you can ask which was probably not the smartest thing for her to say, but she was caught off guard, and it's not her fault or problem. He contacted me and asked me to buy it back. I said that it's not for sale. He then said that I scammed him, and he was going to sue me and take my wife to HR for being a part of the scam, which was nuts, but he did actually contact HR. They were cool about it and said that it's not their problem. It's between him and me. Over the next few months, he made things very uncomfortable for my wife at work. He would bug her constantly about it. She eventually had to go to HR for harassment, and they actually let him go. She complained twice, and he was warned and didn't stop. He contacted me several times about it, so I got a restraining order for harassment too. I blocked him too, and I haven't heard from him in about a year. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for proposing to my girlfriend? My, 26 male, sister Emily, 31 female, got married last week. Her now husband, Jacob, 28 male, is a good friend of mine, and I introduced them. After Emily and Jacob announced their engagement, my family were constantly asking when I was going to propose to my girlfriend, Genevieve, 23. I decided I wanted to do it in front of my whole family, and the first place I thought of was Emily and Jacob's wedding. I asked Jacob if I could propose at the wedding, and he said yes, and I thought after that it would be fine. I proposed to her at the reception, and and she said no. And then she confessed to me that her and Jacob have been sleeping together. Emily went crazy. She blames me for everything, well. saying that I ruined her whole wedding and forced her to marry a man who doesn't love her. Well. They didn't go on their honeymoon. Eventually, Emily calmed down and she decided to stay with Jake. Genevieve and I are broken up for good. A week after the wedding, Genevieve told me she's, she's pregnant, pregnant yeah. and she <laughs> doesn't know if it's mine or Jake's. Emily flipped out again and mm -hmm. told me that I needed to tell Genevieve to get an abortion. She said that you don't want want to have a kid with such a disgusting slut and if the baby is jake's it will destroy her life more than i already have genevieve has decided that she wants to keep the baby and won't get an abortion am i the asshole for everything that happened help 
my parents gave me a wacky, offensive name. <laughs> I had it legally changed. Goofball and they, McGee. They still won't stop using it. <laughs> wacky and offensive <laughs> shouldn't go together. It's like, oh, it's wacky and racist. Like, what? <laughs> My parents gave me a really terrible name that half rhymes and contains a racial slur. <laughs> Think Gypsy Pixie and misspelled. We are a white family. Her name is actually uh, uh, like Benward N-word. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've hated it my whole life and was bullied mercilessly for it in school. My friends and teachers called me an initial based nickname at my request Although when my parents found out that teachers used my nickname, they called the school and complained to my absolute mortification. Dude, these parents are just there for the fucking laughs. I changed my name legally as soon as I could upon adulthood. Everyone now knows me as Anne, and my friends who knew me before made the change very smoothly. My parents are furious. They refuse point blank to use my new name, although they have had a full year now. They always used to tell me I would grow to love my beautiful and unique name, when I cried about it as a kid and are obviously angry that they have been proven wrong on that. <laughs> I get that it must be painful for a parent to feel like their child has rejected the name that they chose, but come on. They have always known how much I've hated it. Always ignored my pleading to be called nicknames, and on top of all of this, their names are completely normal. Example, Bob and Liz. <laughs> so they have no idea what this has been like for me. I know this seems petty, but my relationship with them is deeply strained because of this. When I said I would be cutting short calls or meetups if they called me by my old name, they went ahead and called me that anyways, in front of others. Then they acted stunned and hurt when I left the exchange as promised. I am increasingly pulling away from them because of this. I don't want to be called the wrong name multiple times per conversation. And it hurts me that they're willing to die on this hill rather than just respect my right to have a name I don't hate and doesn't get me laughed at on the regular. Am I wrong for thinking they should be able to adjust to Anne now that I'm an adult? Am I the asshole for refusing to cater to a pregnant ill woman who has nobody to help her? My husband's deployed overseas and I take care of a newborn and my three-year-old niece. I have no family or friends around here to help me or give me a break and I'm doing this all by myself. I'm exhausted and have no sleep schedule or routine for myself as the kids are expectedly demanding. It's to the point where I feel like I'm going to throw up if I don't get rest when I can. My husband met someone overseas who's stationed at our base and he says his wife is here, pregnant and ill. She has severe PTSD and anxiety and can't drive herself anywhere. He volunteered me to drive her around to her early AM appointments without asking me first. He loves helping people, I get it, but that's where I'm like, what about me? When he called me and told me about it, I said no. I physically cannot put in the extra work to take care of another human being, especially an adult who I don't know. He got upset with me because he already told his mate that I could help them. I can't. I genuinely cannot unless they want me to lose what little sanity I have. I told him this, but he doesn't seem to think that I'm having that hard of a time and could easily help someone out in need. I am running on fumes and figured out how to manage with what I have. The extra work could quite literally break me. He thinks I'm being insensitive and how would I feel if I needed help but there was no one there to help me. I said I need help myself and he thinks I'm dramatic. Am I the asshole for wanting to sue my husband's sister for losing my $2,000 camera at the beach? Sister-in-law, 20, moved in with me and my husband weeks ago and caused all sorts of problems with her and her boyfriend. She isn't planning on going back till he apologizes even though she broke his Xbox device in an argument. I'm a blogger. I have a small space in our apartment, sort of like my office, but very small, where I work for hours. My sister-in-law always enters the room and takes stuff and not returns them, resulting in me replacing them till I got a lock. She was going to the beach with some friends to let off some steam and asked if she could borrow my $2,000 video camera. I declined and explained that I was working this weekend and would need it. When I woke up the next day at 9am and had showered and then had breakfast, I entered my office and couldn't find my camera. I freaked out, and my husband told me to calm down because his sister took it with her to the beach. <laughs> he knew. He assured me it was in safe hands, but I kept worrying about it and was upset by the fact she took it, and he gave her the key to get into my office. Jesus. She got back at 7 p.m. and was pissed, talking about getting into a fight with her boyfriend 
after seeing him with someone at the beach and it ruined her day. She started crying and loudly cussing him out. I asked for my camera back and she said she didn't have it. She left angrily after the encounter and forgot her sunglasses, her sunscreen, her hat, and my camera at the beach. Her friend Aiden picked up some of the stuff and brought it back, but the camera apparently got stolen. I started yelling, calling her irresponsible and reckless. She started apologizing and tried to blame it all on her now ex-boyfriend for getting her into a fight with the girl he was with. I said, I need that camera for my work and she needs to replace it like yesterday. My husband got involved and said, it wasn't her fault that it got stolen. Yes, it was. And I suggested... And he suggested I get a cheaper camera from Amazon, for mm. now at least, until I can afford to buy a new one. Mm -mm. Why should I have to buy a replacement when it was your sister who lost it? Correct. He tried to make excuses for her, but I said I have no problem with suing her, and he asked if I was serious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I've worked hard to afford this camera, so for him to just suggest I get a cheap camera from Amazon was very offensive. He said he was just trying to help fix the problem, but I said he was just helping his sister avoid responsibility. Mm-hmm. Both him and his sister aren't speaking to me anymore, making me feel guilty for saying those things. I'm not sure if doing this will be morally the right thing, since she's family, but I need to know. Am I the asshole? No. Suing family is very, very hard to do, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. I've never been in that situation. Yeah, I can only go bad, right? Am I the asshole for refusing to see my dad even though he's really sick? I'm two years older than my brother. My parents said they didn't have the money to put me through college, but because they had high incomes, I couldn't get any financial aid. I moved out, got a job, and started working. I ended up starting college the same year as my brother did. I assumed my brother was in debt by going to a really expensive private school, until I saw him post about having his school paid by our parents. I asked my mom about it, and she fessed up that they were paying for it. It made me so angry, and I have not visited home since. I work so hard for my grades and don't understand why they don't care. My dad has cancer, and it's really bad. Mom's asking me to come see him, and he's upset, too. My brother called me a horrible daughter who's a greedy bee, but I am worried. Am I the a for getting upset when my girlfriend showed an old picture of herself to my friend? I have been dating Emma for about four months now. She was telling my friend Amanda one of her travel stories and showed her a picture on her phone of what she was talking about, and I was a bit bothered by it. Full disclosure, Emma is drop-dead gorgeous, just a full-on natural beauty, easily the most attractive girl I've ever been in a relationship with. However, from ages 16 to 27, she had a very short pixie cut. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely hate this hairstyle. In my opinion, it's one of the least attractive things a woman can do to herself. After Amanda and my other friends left her, I decided to just say something about it. I asked her if she could be a little more discreet about showing pictures of herself with short hair. She got really mad and told me it's her past she's sharing, and I have no right to tell her what she can and can't say about herself. Uh -huh. She insists that she was just as attractive when her hair was short, which Correct. is objectively false, and got <laughs> just as much male attention. Am I the ass? Am I the asshole for not wanting to name our first child black? Me and my partner are having our first child and I stupidly made a deal with them where they got to name our child if it's a boy and I get to name our child if it's a girl. Well, we're having a boy and the names my partner's coming up with are not for me. I've managed to convince them to forget our deal, but they do still have more say than I do. Anyway, the name they're eager to use is black. We wanted something different without being too hippy dippy and this is the outcome. Their reasoning is that black is just a cool color and they think it sounds really cool. I think it's a bit odd because we are both white. Like yeah, it's a color, but it's also a race and a pretty sensitive topic. I think that logic is absurd and we're not Americans, so race isn't a huge deal over here. As a mother of three, all my kids started differently. After finding out they only feed the baby four ounces at a time, I suggested talking to the pediatrician about starting the baby on solids. They said the doctor already gave them the go ahead, but they didn't think the baby was ready. So I said I think upping ounces in milk would probably help the baby sleep better. They brushed me off, then last Friday my mom was watching the baby and decided to give the baby mashed up banana. The baby loved it. My sister-in-law was pissed and I can obviously see why. My mom wouldn't back down saying that they're starving her grandchild. They called me and demanded I get in the middle and make my mom apologize or she wouldn't see the baby anymore. I said she should apologize for not getting permission but not for her reasoning. Am I the asshole for not apologizing to my brother and sister-in-law for saying they starved their baby? My brother and his wife had their first baby seven months ago. My mother, who lives with me, recently started watching the baby instead of placing in daycare, so the baby's at my house all week. It's been a month, and my mom says that the baby barely sleeps, will cry, and shows signs of tiredness, but only naps for half an hour at the most. 
My brother and sister-in-law have also told us the baby still wakes up almost every one to two hours throughout the night like a newborn, and it's extremely exhausting. The baby only drinks breast milk, and while I know every baby is different and what works for some might not work for others, I still can't help but think they aren't feeding the baby enough. Am I the asshole for asking my wife not to cook for me anymore? My wife is a disaster in the kitchen and always leaves a huge mess after she's done with cooking. She uses a zillion utensils to even make a coffee. Don't ask me how, it's an unsolved mystery. Today she learned this new recipe from her mom and went into the kitchen to prepare it. When she was done, it turned out to be a vodka pasta. It tasted horrible because she added an entire bottle of vodka. She also added too much salt and it ended up tasting like salt with pasta on the side rather than pasta seasoned with salt. I told her not to cook for me anymore and to clean up after she's done cooking. I've never minded cooking for both of us and she has no reason to cook. She said she really wants to learn and I said I would taste test to help.